This first poem is called uh, A Brief History of Those Who Made Their Point Politely and Then Went Home. And it, I wrote it in 2001. Um, and it was inspired by a conversation I had with someone about one of the anti-globalization uh, demonstrations that were going on at the time where it seemed, they, they said to me, it seemed like uh, what had to happen is that uh, a big demonstration would happen wherever the world leaders were gathered and people would make their point by uh, burning down or breaking up one bank or one branch of McDonald's. And this person said to me, well, that never really changed very much, uh, which I agree with. Uh, but equally, and this is where the poem came from, very little was ever changed historically by those who made their point politely and then went home. A brief history of those who made their point politely and then went home. On this day of tear gas in Seoul and windows broken at Dickens and Jones, I can't help wondering why a history of those who made their point politely and then went home has never been written. Those who in the heat of the moment never dislodged a policeman's helmet, never blocked the traffic or held a country to ransom. Someone should ask them, was it all worth it? All those proud men and women who never had the National Guard sent in against them, who left everything exactly as they found it without adding as much as a scratch to the paintwork, who no one bothered asking, are you or have you ever been? Because we all knew damn well they never ever were.